Welcome to Sunday Scaries episode eight. That's eight weeks of Sunday Scaries with only one week of skipping the Sunday. If you're new, my name is Sean Kanoy and Sunday Scaries is made to help you guys ease into the week and avoid some of that anxiety that comes with Sunday evenings or mornings, depending on what you did the night before. If your Instagram feed is anything like mine, then you probably get ads for mud water all the time. And curiosity got the best of me recently, so I ordered myself a pack of mud water and it has arrived right here. Mud water. Where's the front? Mud water, I guess that's the front. Here it is. So what is mud water? Well, it's supposed to be a replacement for coffee and it uses mushrooms to give you a natural boost of energy and mental clarity. And so it has cacao, lion's mane, cordyceps, chaga, reishi, cinnamon, turmeric, and Himalayan salt. And this was $50 for this thing, $50. 30 servings, one tablespoon per serving. So it is a premium product, apparently. Uh, over a dollar a serving, more like a dollar fifty a serving or, or so. And so if you check out Mudwater, you can see their marketing strategy is pretty clear. They add some jokes in there, but it's supposed to be a very premium thing and it's supposed to make you feel like you're doing something great and drinking this is supposed to be way better than coffee. The point of replacing coffee with this is because coffee gives people the jitters and it makes you crash. There are a lot of negatives associated with coffee. I drink coffee every morning. I don't get the jitters. I don't really, I feel like it doesn't affect me anymore. Maybe I drank too much coffee. I feel like I don't really crash. I love the taste of coffee. So this is just something interesting. The marketing got to me. I, I find mushrooms and the the powers that they have pretty interesting. So the kind that I got, I got the, the Rise kind. They also have just have a mushroom boost, which is a lot cheaper. You can get 90 servings for, I think, 40 or $50. So if you are looking for just the, the immunity or the health boost, maybe that's a better option for you. But this is more the morning, the Rise kind. It has a little bit of caffeine in it. And it's supposed to be uh, your morning routine instead of coffee. So the side of the can has a few little things. There's a few like notes from the founder, his name's Shane. It shows you uh, a little recipe for a latte. And then something that caught my eye pretty quickly, something that you don't really wanna see on a product that you're about to consume, is this little warning label right there. It says, warning, consuming this product can expose you to chemicals including lead, which are known to be uh, cancerous and cause birth defects. That's not something you wanna see before you consume something. Maybe it's part of the can that it comes in. It's like a, it's like aluminum type can. Maybe it's something in there. Uh, I know that the state of California standards are very high, so maybe it's just a trace amount of something. I don't want to eat something that has lead in it. But I'm gonna try it anyway, and I'm gonna take my first test. I'll take my first sip of this on camera for Sunday Scaries and I'll let you know my, my true reaction. When I open it, it smells very, it's like, it just smells like spices. Like if you open a, your, your spice cabinet, definitely you get a gingery smell. So this is the masala chai, which has black tea, ginger, cardamom, cloves, nutmeg, and black pepper. And that's the smell you get. Here's how it looks, by the way. Very interesting smell. I'm curious to see what it's gonna taste like. I'm kind of excited to see how it tastes, and I wanna see if it has any effect at all. It says that it's supposed to give you mental clarity, focus, all day energy, no crash. Let's see if any of that's true. So this video will come out on Sunday, but I will probably have drank this a few days before I give my final review. I'll let you know if it is worth it or not worth it. So let's get my little frother and mix this into some water. All right, got my water heated up in this cup right here, just water, nothing in it. One tablespoon is the serving size. I wish it came with a little cup. I thought it came with a little scooper, but maybe not. Oh, here we go. Let's get in the camera, here we go. Focus on this, not my face. There, I see. 
That's good, I'll do a little extra. This is my first try. Into the cup. Just like that. Woo. Mix it up. It smells not very appetizing. That's, I guess that's the nature of mushrooms. Actually, after you mix it in the water, it smells like cinnamon a lot more than it did in just the other form. All right, so in the marketing, they always make it look nice and like pretty. They always make it look like it's all nice and pretty in the cup. Doesn't look that pretty to me. Maybe I used too much water or something. It has the same color as coffee, kind of. Coffee with a little creamer in it, maybe. First try, cheers. Not bad. I think I put, I think I had too much water. It's a little watery, or maybe a tablespoon is just not a lot of stuff. But it's not bad, it tastes like cinnamon. The, the biggest taste you get is cinnamon. And then ginger comes in after that. It's a little grainy, you can see it floating, it's a little grainy. Maybe I don't have it mixed up very good, maybe it needs hotter water to dissolve. Immediate, like, whenever I just, Smell it, immediate thought is dog food. I've just recently found myself enjoying the taste of just black coffee, a dark roast coffee, and this is a big step away from that. First impressions, underwhelming. I'm gonna drink this, go do some errands, see if it uh, does anything for me, and I'll drink it tomorrow, and then make my final comments. And that's what you will see this morning on Sunday Scaries episode eight. After taking a few more sips, the pepper is kind of coming out in the back of your throat. It kind of burns a little bit, not in a bad way. It's a little nice little peppery uh, kick, I guess you could say. Maybe in the morning, you know, it's like three o'clock in the afternoon, but maybe in the morning, if I make it a morning routine, it'll be a nice wake up flavor to wake up to. But that's what coffee was. First impressions. This is not a long term review on this episode. Maybe after my 30 servings are up, I'll do a month update. But first impressions, underwhelming, overpriced. Can't say anything about the effects yet because I just started drinking it. So that will come later, stay tuned. All right, I'm at the Lake of the Ozarks. Happy Memorial Day, by the way, for all of you veterans watching. It is my second day in a row taking that mud water. Uh, do I feel any difference compared to coffee? I don't think so. Maybe I've been drinking, so it covers it up. Overall, I definitely don't feel any negative effects from it. I think my mood has been great. My energy has been decent. I haven't probably gotten enough sleep. Either way, my energy has been good. The taste, you can kind of get through. It's an interesting taste. Um, it'll take some getting used to. They did a good job on naming it mud water because they can kind of use that as a reason for it being a little grainy, doesn't really blend well, it doesn't mix in all the way. So you can you, you can say, well, it's mud water, you know, it's supposed to be mud. It settles. Some of the grains, graininess settles at the bottom. Well, it's mud water, right? You know, they can use that. I wanna do a one month update after I've been drinking it every morning. That'll probably yield a different result. But anyway, chill tip of the day. Hmm, I've already done go near a body of water. That's always a good chill tip of the day. Let me give you a good chill tip of the day for this Sunday. Take 10 minutes out of your day and do some stretches. Stretch your legs, stretch your neck, and you'll feel way better today, which will help you feel better the rest of the week. I also wanna thank my most recent subscribers, Red Prevo, Don Castillo, Maya Ramirez, and 912 Belion. Thank you all for subscribing. I hope you enjoy the videos. And I'll see you in the next one. 